There's a lot of heat in our culture today mm -hmm. to accept the sexual, um, I guess, no, no authority in the sexual revolution, revolution just yeah, right. continuing. And right. um, how do we as Christians show love, mm -hmm. tenderness, compassion, truth, mm -hmm. grace in the midst of people that want to see same-sex uh, marriage um, verified by the government and moving in that direction and basically the dissolvement of the nuclear family. How do we engage that? Um, not just point to the Bible, but talking about some of the other parts of your mm -hmm. book, Correct, Not Politically Correct, mm -hmm. which is a life-changing book if you read it. Um, and I know you don't have any today, but they can order it online. Yeah. But just a real quick kind of overview of Correct, Not Politically Correct and the culture that we live in today. Well, let me, let, me, let me give you some questions you can ask rather than making statements. Because if people ask you questions on this, it's going to be volatile, right, if they disagree with you. So suppose somebody asks you a question like, what do you think about transgenderism or what do you think about same-sex marriage or homosexuality or any of these questions that are hot-button social issues? You should ask a question back. And here's, here's the question. Do you consider yourself a tolerant person? Why do you want to ask that question? Because the other person is probably going to have to say yes, right? Especially if they're on the other side of this issue. They always talk about tolerance, inclusion, diversity, and all these things, right? So what you're going to say is, after they say yes, you'll say great. Because if I give an opinion that's different from yours, you'll tolerate it then, right? Because you only tolerate things you disagree with. You don't tolerate things you agree with, right? You agree with them. The only way you can tolerate something is if you disagree with it. So if you say, you consider yourself a tolerant person. By the way, all this is in the app, okay? So if you forget this, it's right there in the app. So if someone asks you about this, you immediately go to your app. Hang on. How do I respond? Okay. <laughs> do you consider yourself a tolerant person? Your next question ought to be if they say, well, I think same-sex marriage is a good thing or transgenderism. Your first question ought to be, what do you mean by that? What do you mean good? How do you define good? What is good? Right? You're going to have a, they're going to have a very difficult time defining, defining good without reference to God. Why? Because there's nothing good or bad unless there's a standard. And if it's just them, it's just their standard, who said that's good? There's got to be a standard outside of us. So you're saying this is good for society. What do you mean by good? Who said? People have rights. What do you mean by a right? Where do rights come from? Because if there's no God, there's no right to anything. There's not only no right to same-sex marriage, there's no right to natural marriage. There's no right to anything. There's no rights. What are you talking about rights? Governments don't give rights. Governments protect rights according to our Declaration of Independence. If government gives you your rights, that means if a new government shows up, you no longer have them? No, rights are something you have regardless of what the government says. That's the point. So you ask the question, what do you mean by that? Next question, how did you come to that conclusion? Or, have you, or what evidence do you have for your position, in other words? In other words, you're looking for evidence for why they believe what they believe. Try and figure out where the other person's coming from and see if they can support their position. Okay? Because when somebody says something, it's not your job to refute what they say. It's their job to support what they say. You see the point? Don't take the burden on, on yourself to refute what they say. Let them support it, and you'll realize that pretty soon most people don't have much intellectual justification for their position. They just heard a slogan that they like, and they don't realize the slogan isn't true, and it, they, they pair it with other slogans they know about. They're mutually contradictory. And as soon as you ask them for evidence, then, then they're out of the ability to support their case. In fact, some of you are old enough to remember this. Only a few of you are probably. But you remember when people used to come to your door and knock on your door and try and sell you a vacuum? Remember that? And then vacuum would be like 1500 bucks. But after he sucked all those mites out of your, out of your couch, you go, I need it! <laughs> right? Those bugs are living in my couch, right? I mean, they, they put a pretty hard sell on you, you remember? Well, imagine if somebody came to your door, knocked on your door and said, I'm selling this vacuum, let me show it to you. And you go, you think that's good? You go back into your closet, you take out your vacuum, and you go, look at this thing! And he wants to buy your vacuum now. You think that's going to happen? No! Before he's interested in your vacuum, he's got to begin to doubt his own vacuum. Right? Before someone's going to accept your worldview, they may need to doubt their own worldview. 
So ask them for justification for their worldview and see what they say. Chances are they're not going to be able to support it other than throwing slogans at you. And then you ask, what do the slogans mean? What does that mean? So do you, do you, do you consider yourself a tolerant person? What do you mean by that? How did you come to that conclusion? And then the fourth question is a nice way for you to provide some evidence back. And that's when you can say something like, have you ever considered? And then fill in the blank. Have you ever considered that there are no rights to anything unless there's a standard beyond humanity? And that standard would be what we would call God's nature. Have you ever considered that? I mean, it's a nice way of saying it back, right? 